Out the adventure of getting outdoors as it gets warmer outside, while others, they just might find satisfaction in dropping them into the fryer. Morel mushrooms hunting, that is a little bit of everything, you know, for everyone. Reporter Ryan Smith, he was out in the woods and has more on the hunt. Kevin Loroff is the manager at the Runes Conservation Nature Center. If you are new to hunting morels, he gives this advice to new hunters to make sure the conditions are right for a morel hunt before you even step out the door. Think of morel season as pretty much the whole month of April, with maybe a week on each side of it, late March. We've found a few uh, morels here in late March. And then by the first week in May, they're really starting to wind down. A lot of that does depend on the moisture. Um, there has to be a good uh, amount of moisture in the ground and the other big factor is the soil temperature. So we need to get that temperature up to about 45, 50 degrees before they really start popping out of the ground. On Facebook, there's groups dedicated to morel hunting in Missouri with over 140,000 followers. And on May 4th, the Brick District in Fulton hosts its annual Morels and Microbrews Festival where residents can buy and of course eat morel mushrooms. Amanda Long is one of three committee members that run the festival. She says they are gearing up for their 12th annual Morels and Microbrews Festival. We sell 13 to 1400 tickets and it's people from not only all over Missouri, but we also get out of state visitors to Fulton for the day. Um, it's a beer tasting festival initially, but we've expanded it. Now we have fresh and fried morels for sale. So how did hunting morels gain so much popularity in the first place? Loroff says what started off as a means of survival to our ancestors has now became one of the most popular springtime activities in Missouri and throughout the Midwest. I think in early settlement days, it was on the list on the menu as a, as a survival thing. You know, in the early settlement days, if, um, you know, you had to depend on knowing what you can collect out of the wild. And Loroff says if you are new to hunting morels, there are several important things to consider as well when going for your first mushroom hunt. He says first, you need to make sure you have permission to be on the land you are hunting them. If you are hunting on public land, Loroff says state entities like the Department of Conservation or Natural Resource Areas throughout the state are a great place to start. Secondly, you need to be able to 100% identify that you have collected morels, as many mushrooms you find in the wilderness could result in severe illness. He also stresses the importance to notify loved ones if you plan to go out into the woods hunting morels, which is why if you are new to hunting mushrooms, Loroff suggests bringing someone with experience your first time or two. Loroff says if you do take the public land route, it's important to check the regulations ahead of time to how many morels you can obtain, as it may vary depending on location. My point is, wherever you intend to go, make sure you check that out ahead of time. Check out the website. You could just Google mushroom collecting in Missouri State Parks and you'll get the rules about that. I was able to go morel hunting with Gary Vaught, the head director of Morels and Microbrews. Vaught says he has been hunting morels his whole life. He says he has hunted mushrooms for so long they even pop up in his dreams. Remember I closed my eyes at night after them kind of deals, that's all you could see. <laughs> mushrooms, <laughs> dream about it. <laughs> oh man. Reporting in Boone County, Ryan Smith, KRCG 13. Keeping my eyes peeled for some tips, but Vaughn, he isn't revealing any of his morel gathering spot. He also is encouraging people, though, to get out and explore. Now, you might just find tomorrow's dinner very tasty there, right?